we are going to keep it real because when it comes to AI in web design, there are a lot of things out there being pushed that are either just straight up gimmicky or not ready for a real life web design workflow. It's the reason why I don't show a lot of it on my channel because, well, it would just be for clicks and that's not what we're doing here. But the technology has been catching up and there are several amazing AI tools that I find myself using for my web design and productivity workflows. The first tool that I've been using a whole lot lately and gravitating towards is Cursor. This has made creating snippets for my projects and for whatever I'm creating a lot more organized and a lot more systematic. Now I can use ChatGPT for writing code snippets and that's what I did in the past. But I found since I started using Cursor that my workflow started getting better, that it started to become more enjoyable, but also it just made the whole coding experience uh, more optimal. And I'm able to do simple stuff like what I did for my last video here, where I'm able to just upload an image for say a reviews widget, ask it to write the HTML and CSS for me, and it spits it out flawlessly. And then I have my HTML and CSS files already created. And that's for something simple. We could also do something more advanced, like creating plugins for WordPress, which right now I am working on I'm experimenting, having fun, just creating things that are way more advanced than what I normally would create when I'm coding. So keep an eye out for WordPress plugins being created with Cursor, video coming soon. And next up is Google AI Studio. And I'm really surprised that I'm not seeing this everywhere. This is pretty insane, especially because I prefer to voice prompt instead of typing out my prompts. It's just so much easier to have that conversation that we get with like chat GPT. And the way that I'll use Google AI studio is to have it review a website. I need you to review a website for me. I can do that. Please share the URL of the website you'd like me to review. Okay. I have reviewed the website. Would you like me to share my overall impression or would you like me to focus on a specific aspect? send it a web page. You could send it a link and you could ask for feedback. You could ask to give a direction. And it's just a way to have an extra set of eyes on your website, letting you know some ideas, letting you know if something is wrong and needs to be fixed and giving you some direction. Next on my list is Zapier. And also I got to throw in Sure Triggers or what is now rebranded as AutoKit. And that is because while well, creating workflows and automations, this is a really big part of what I do. And also what we could be doing for our clients, connecting their CRMs to their websites, to their Slacks, to their emails. Well, there's just a lot that we could do, but Using Zapier's AI, I found it to be super easy and about two out of three times, it'll get the actual zap done right, saving me a whole lot of time like this. I'll go ahead and paste in the prompt, go ahead and spin it up. And now it's going to create that workflow with me and then we could work with it. It just saves a whole lot of time and sometimes cuts out some things that are a bit complicated because there have been times where I wanted to set up a complex workflow, but I really didn't know what direction to go in and using the AI in Zapier was super helpful. And also what we can see here in AutoKit, which is formerly called Sure Triggers. Well, they are working on doing something as well, very similar to Zapier. And real quick, before we get to the last couple of AI tools, I want to give a special shout out to this video sponsored Cloudways, who also has their own AI integration that they are working on as well with their co-pilot AI. I've personally used Cloudways for years while running my agency and WordPress maintenance plans. They're faster and safer than traditional shared hosting, and they make cloud hosting simple. With Cloudways, you could optimize performance while keeping costs low for you and your clients. Their Cloudflare Enterprise and malware protection add-ons delivers high-level security without the huge price tag. And their email management with an SMTP is made simple with no need to juggle multiple third-party providers. Plus, you get advanced server options in 24-7 agency level support to keep your sites running smoothly. And now Cloudways also has their new AI co-pilot, giving you AI driven insights to boost your hosting performance. There's a special exclusive discount just for the Lightbox community. To get it, use the code Lightbox and the link in the description. Now back to the video. 
Next up is Free Pick and their AI suite. Now, there's a lot of amazing image generators out there, but I go with Free Pick because, first off, it is affordable, especially if you get it right around Black Friday time, but also because you get all the other stuff that Free Pick offers their stock photo library that you could use on projects, even Flaticon Pro. So, if you get Free Pick, and you get the professional plan, you're also going to get flat icon, which has always been my go-to icon libraries for my web design projects. First off, we got all kinds of models that we could choose from here. And then we could also select our colors. We could go really deep into this and really fine tune what we are looking for. They also have this really cool thing to roll the dice and get your inspiration. But I'm just going to go ahead, plug in a prompt here. And I do like the fact that I got easy control over my aspect ratio, which is really important because a lot of the times I'm going to create background graphics. So I do want to make sure I got a wide screen for that. Sometimes, though, I'm going to create portraits. We could change the colors and we could have this match something closer to our color palette for our project. Uh, you know. Some of them might start coming up just like any other image generator, which is, you know, showing some things that we need to adjust. Like I wouldn't want flowers on my screen, but this is where we just go in, start to get the right prompts and we are good to go. So this goes into my top image generator and this is my go-to image generator because it is flexible but also because of all the other things that come with free pick. It just makes it a no brainer. And I also want to keep my budget uh, minimized because getting all these tools, well, the cost does start to add up and I want to keep my monthly expenses as low as possible. And now for what has to be the most useful and impactful AI tool for web designers out there. And that is going to be Reloom. Hands down, Reloom you see it everywhere and that's because it is just so useful but now with the style guide it has added just so much more value on top of what has already been a super useful ai tool not only are we able to create our sitemaps our wireframes get in the content and our whole workflows and spin up a whole project and fine tune it in less than an hour something that could have taken a couple of days before but now we also got the style guide which we even take a further in the design process and hands down this saves the most time for web designers and creatives inside of the actual web design workflow i do have an upcoming video going deeper into the branding style guide because recently i've created my own style guide for the figma mastery that we have in the lightbox academy and that took me days to create so it's crazy to think that we know we are now at a place where we could create style guides in a matter of minutes versus days. And this is just where we're at right now. Things are moving really, really fast as a web designer, a creative, and somebody running a web design business. My focus is not on finding an AI tool that's going to create the whole website for me. Those to me, they're just not ready. They're a bit gimmicky. They're not ready for client production ready sites. We still need to understand web design in order to use them. Even things like cursor, you still need to know some code to use it. But the point of it is to save time, to cut out not just hours, but days of the processes that we normally would be working in. Now, these are just a few of them. There are more that I'm still testing out right now. I'm eagerly waiting for Manus AI. There's still Bolt, there's still Replit. There's amazing tools out there and more amazing tools are coming out. I want to hear from you though. What AI tools have you found most useful for your own web design workflows? What do you find helps you out? Not just with creating websites, but just running your whole web design business, working with clients and just speeding along your processes, saving you valuable time. Let us know inside of the comments. This way we could all check it out, geek out on the tools and find what is working for each other. Well, that is it for this video. If you did find value in this, then you know that good YouTube stuff, like and subscribe, it does help to support the channel. And I really do appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.